Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm just here for a quick little midweek look at our outdoor overwintering bin. And as you can see, it has been raining. And I was concerned about the worms. I wanted to check the temperature in here. And we're at 62. I think that's pretty good. Maybe even a little bit higher. Um, at night, it's been getting down to Oh gosh, like 30s, but it looks like over this weekend I'm going to be away at the vermicomposting conference and it's going to be down in the 20s. So um, I'm a little bit concerned I won't be here to manage this and really follow it. But I can see some mold growing in here. Should have had a glove on. Um, but wanted to see if I could find any worms, but I did layer on a lot of stuff. And so I'm not seeing a whole lot right now, but I will check in one more time before I go out of town and we'll really dig around better when I have gloves on. Um, but I did just want to give you guys this little look and I will post an update to this uh, prior to posting it. But just taking a look, it looks like tonight we're going to go down to 32 and it's going to continue to be in the 30s at night. Alright guys, so I'm here for the other check-in. This is actually going to be our full week update. I'm leaving tomorrow for the vermicomposting conference and I wanted to peek and see what our temperature was reading. We're hanging about 62, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, it has been getting down in the 30s at night and they actually are expecting it to be even colder while I'm gone. So I'm a little bit nervous that I won't be here to check on it, but do what you gotta do, right? But I wanted to see if uh, we could find any worms in here. But we put so much, so many leaves in here, it's kind of hard to get down here, but let's see. What we can find, I'm gonna try to just dig my hand down here. There we go, there's a worm. There's a few worms. That looks like a red wiggler there. But it does look like they're still in here and they're alive. And these leaves are a very good moisture level. Some of this um, egg crate that I put in here is actually falling apart, which is good. It's kind of telling me that it's composting. Don't see much here. But let me flip this around a little bit the other side. See if there's anything going on on this side. Oh look, there's a little caterpillar hanging out on the wall. Here's our corn cob. Doesn't look like much is going on here. But all in all, things seem to be looking well. And there's some more worms. That one looks like he's ready to lay a cocoon, and there's one cocoon right there. Oh, that's excellent news. There's another worm. I'd say maybe they're a little sluggish, but they're definitely in here and they're working. So, um, I actually have a few more worms that I've been baiting out um, that I'm going to throw in here as well. The more worms in here to keep it actively composting I think will also help with the temperatures. So I'm going to go take a peek and see how many worms we've baited and we will get this um, fed up with a little bit more food and a little bit more leaves I think and that will be the update for this week. Alright so the food that I put was down in the middle here. If you saw that update the other day, but I'll include it at the end in case you'd like to see it. But I was hoping there would be some worms. And there are. Awesome. I'm going to pull these out. I have a little container here. With some broccoli. I believe there was some fruit as well.
but there are worms around here so we will definitely be taking these guys to add just putting them in a container that we can take outside with us it actually feels nice and warm in here so I think the worms were getting to work and I see some little guys trying to run away from me that's a European night crawler for sure okay come on camera focus there we go bending over this container it's so large it's a little bit tricky so pardon my getting out of breath just gonna pull a few more of these guys out get the food together and we'll take it outside all right guys so I pulled out all the worms I could find I found a lot of European night crawlers, but I also found some blue worms, a few African night crawlers, and a decent number of red wigglers. And I, I dumped a little bit of eggshell in with them just so it's going to go in here. So I'm going to dump these guys in. And that's some broccoli that's in there with them. But there's quite a good number of worms. Can't tell if that's an African or, or a European. Uh, these are both Europeans. So I think that's going to be good. And with these outdoor systems, I actually think that hot composting is a, a good thing because it is winter and we're trying to keep this warm. So I have some scraps. They weren't frozen, but since this is outdoors, I'm not really worried about it. So this is just some peelings, some oranges, some onions, things from when I was cooking this weekend. And I know it looks like a lot of food, and it is, but because the system has an ability to breathe, it's outside, so it does get lots of air, I actually think it'll be just fine. So I'm, I'm not even going to worry about covering it too deeply, because it will kind of start to decompose and fall down lower on its own. Um, but you can see we did fluff it up but the layer did has shrunk down a little bit so I know that they're getting to work in here um, and I think that all of this extra bedding and leaves and all of that are gonna do just fine to keep them comfortable just gonna fluff it up a little bit and I had moved my thermometer over towards the edge and it's reading about 60 here so I think the tem temperatures are relatively good in here but I'm going to stick this back in the middle because I'll probably have my boyfriend check the temperature uh, while he is watching over the house while I'm down in North Carolina. So that's going to be the update for today. Please like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with my storage container for my worm castings. So this is castings from all of my bins. So from African night crawlers, European night crawlers, uh, red wigglers, and blue worms. And as you guys know, we have already baited out some worms from here and we added it to our overwintering experiment that's outside. But today I wanted to put some more bait in here um, to try to lure some more out because while the weather is still somewhat mild, I'd like to get some more worms into that bin. Um, so I kind of got a combination of stuff here. I have some broccoli that went bad, a melon rind, and some liquid from um, some of the food that I defrosted today. So. This is very slow to break down type of food, uh, except for the melon rind. So I'm hoping they'll come in for the melon rind, but they'll stay for the broccoli. So um, 
I'm just going to bury this up. Again, this is right in the middle, so it'll be easy for us to find again. And I'm hoping if I give this a few days, we'll have some more worms that we can add to our outdoor overwintering experiment. So I know this is a real short little clip here today, but I wanted to let you guys know what I was doing and um, get any of your input. So far, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going for that. Um, nothing spectacular going on yet, but the fact of the matter that's most important to me is that they are doing well. They're not dying on me. And uh, the temperatures are staying pretty consistent now that I've added some leaves and things like that. So, super short video, but uh, I would love to hear your feedback. So drop those comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.